Hello, my name is Jamie Barnett and I am the nurse educator here at San Joaquin Valley Rehabilitation Hospital. Strokes are highly prevalent in the United States. According to the CDC, 800,000 people will have a stroke each year. This equates to one person every 40 seconds. In this short video, I will be discussing the complications and risk factors associated with stroke, ways to reduce those risk factors, and how to identify a stroke fast. A stroke essentially is the lack of blood flow to part of the brain. This compromises the tissue's ability to obtain the nutrients and oxygen that it needs to survive. This can happen in two ways, a hemorrhagic stroke, which is a rupture of the blood vessels surrounding the brain, or more commonly an ischemic stroke, which is a blood clot that occludes the blood vessels surrounding the brain. Both can have serious complications. These include paralysis or weakness to one side of the body, difficulty releasing urine from the bladder, causing frequent infections, difficulty articulating words, difficulty comprehending what is being said, and problems with swallowing. High risk factors for stroke include high cholesterol, diabetes, smoking, drug and alcohol use, but the number one risk factor for having a stroke is hypertension. Hypertension means high blood pressure. High blood pressure damages the vessels in the circulatory system. And think about when you cut your finger. Eventually the blood will clot and a scab will form. This is our defense mechanism. This is happening inside our circulatory system. Eventually that clot can disrupt and travel to the brain. This is causing an inadequate blood flow. Ways to control our blood pressure include exercising three to four times per week for at least 30 minutes, reducing the salt in our diet, smoking cessation, taking all of our prescribed medications. You never wanna modify or stop taking a medication without being instructed to do so by a doctor. If you've had a stroke in the past, your chance for having another stroke has increased. Your medication is the best defense against this risk. And lastly, you want to know your blood pressure. Monitor it in the home and talk to your doctor about where your blood pressure should be. There may come a time where you need to identify a stroke in a loved one. And to do this, we use the acronym FAST. FAST means there is a treatment if we act fast. F stands for face. Have the patient smile. Is the face symmetrical? A stands for arms. Have the patient raise their arms. Does one deviate down? Is there any numbness or tingling to one side of the body? S stands for speech. Is there any slurring? Can they say simple sentences such as the sky is blue or the apple is red? And T stands for time. It is time to call 911 if any of the above symptoms are noted. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and have a wonderful day.